Welcome to another installment of the Champions of Chime Amp Roundup. We've gathered nine EL84 driven gems to duke it out at the hands of session aces Justin Derrico, Taylor Locke, and Steve Travato. Up now is the Goodsell Super 17 Black Line. Richard Goodsell knows how to build a great low to medium wattage interpretation of both unusual vintage circuits and more traditional ones like the AC15. The Black Line Super 17 has a hand wired circuit in an imported black Tolex cabinet to keep the price down. The 17 watt combo features a duo of EL84s, three 12 AX7 preamp tubes, and a GZ34 rectifier tube. The amp features both reverb and tremolo with volume tone, gain, reverb, depth, and speed controls. The 112 combo we tested was loaded with an RG65 speaker and retails for $14.99. Let's hear it. My name is Justin Derrico. Uh, I play guitar for Pink, and I'm also in the house band for uh, The Voice. This is a, a Nash guitar, Bill Nash, uh, and it's very reminiscent of some guitars that you know, you've know probably seen before. Uh, and I believe the pickups in it are Lawler pickups. Uh, they're single coil, um, and you know it's relic. It's pretty sexy. This is my darling, my baby. This is a uh, just a Les Paul standard. It's a 2006, uh, not chambered. Uh, the pickups in it are, I believe, they're burst buckers. Uh, they're just standard what came in it. Uh, the only different thing that I did to this guitar was I put a Fishman Piezo power bridge on it for, uh, for the acoustic stuff. And that's pretty much it. Broken headstock. Um, it sounds bitchin'. <laughs> What I liked most about it was actually the tremolo, um, and the reverb is actually really nice as well. I think the whole overall flavor of this amp is was nice and organic. And the thing I really dig about it is it's tiny, and it's pretty loud for for as small as it is. Which is you know, although we do have it dimed, but I, I think it looks killer, and it and it's tiny, and and it's pretty light too, man. So like, I mean, that's I'd use it. Hey, this is Taylor Locke from the bands The Ruffs and Rooney. This is a 1965 Gibson ES330, totally original, uh, P90 pickups, uh, hollow body, and it's, um, the 330 is the same as an Epiphone Casino, which is like uh, uh, mid-Beatles period tones. That's kind of what, I, what attracted me to, to this kind of guitar. And uh, they go particularly well with um, EL84 amps. <laughs> Thank you. 
I thought it was good. I, I, I thought it sounded a lot like uh, a real Vox vintage AC-15 that I've played through before. It was very tight sounding. Um, and one of the things that you look for in an EL-84 amp is the compression, the way when you hit it, it sort of attacks and then, and then uh, clamps onto what you play and, and, and blooms like a, like a compressor in a studio would. And this amp was really good with that. The tremolo is a nice feature. That's on a foot switch. Um, it was good. I only had the depth about halfway up, and it was it was really deep. I could tell that there's a quite a a, a sweep on the depth knob and the the speed amount. It's um it's a tremolo that has a lot of range to it. So I like that you could pick it up, put it in the trunk of your car. It's a very um, efficient little amp physically, um, but a, a a good powerful 17 watts and um, overall it's a good it's a good amp it's a good sell be a good it's a good buy <laughs> hi I'm Steve Trovato and welcome I brought two different guitars today a T model and an S model both by LSL <laughs> Okay, so what I always like to do with any amp, for my preference, is to set it up for the ultimate clean sound and add any kind of gain or distortion using a pedal. That's just my style. So this small amp has a gain stage and a volume, um, which I pretty much push to the maximum level. The volume's all the way up and the gain's as far as I could get it up before it started to distort. And it sounds good. Make sure to watch the rest of our Champions of Chime demos and head to PremierGuitar.com to read our written feature with additional commentary from Justin, Taylor, and Steve.